Hello students. In this video, I'm going to discuss uh, some questions and their answer uh, of IIT Jam 2024 paper, which was held today. So I will not be discussing solution because uh, students are not interested in solution uh, at this uh, point of time. They are mostly interested in uh, answer, whether they have corrected, uh, with the, whether they have picked correct answer or not. So that's why I'm going to uh, provide only uh, answer of uh, some of the questions that I have received from my students. Okay, so uh, this is a question uh, uh, on moment of inertia. This is a solid sphere and uh, its mass is capital M and radius is R. And this uh, uh, is the basically uh, base center. So there is an axis uh, passing through you know, uh, here uh, and uh, it is at a distance from uh, at a distance x from uh, base center. So question was asked if moment of inertia about this axis is uh, two by five m r squared, then what's the value of x? So uh, actually in this case, value of x will be zero. Okay, moment of inertia can be two by five m r squared if this axis is here only. Okay, so correct answer is zero here. So value of x will be zero in this case. Okay. Next question. See, this is a uh, question from Newton's ring experiment. Actually, see this question I always discuss, you know, uh, in classes. Uh, so most of the question that uh, have been uh, that I have received so far uh, uh, are actually uh, what I have always discussed in classes. So most of the question class notes say here. Okay. So. See, this is a question uh, from Newton's ring experiment. Uh, generally, uh, if this uh, Plano convex lens is in contact with the glass plate. Uh, we get a dark spot here. Okay, uh, but here question says it has been raised by uh, some distance. Um, uh, so what should be the value of d so that uh, here it becomes bright spot? Okay, uh, center uh, we get a central br uh, bright spot here. So its answer is lambda by four because if you lift it by uh, lambda by four, so the reflect uh, extra part difference arises will be lambda by two, and we know that there is uh, already a part difference of lambda by two. So lambda by two plus lambda by two you will get lambda part difference. So that will um, uh, make a uh, um, condition for, that will satisfy condition for constructive interference. So basically here answer is lambda by four. I'm not giving you too much uh, explanation. Correct answer uh, uh, for this will be lambda by four actually, okay? Now, so this is again uh, a question uh, which was which I had discussed in class. Okay, I had uh, told a student that this question can be asked, okay? And it was asked. Now and this is a, uh, um, th there are four matrices and question says which is the uh, unitary and uh, um, Hermitian. So uh, we can just uh, check uh, whether we are getting a dagger equal to a condition of Hermitian and uh, here uh, u dagger should sorry a dagger should be equal to a dagger should be equal to a inverse. Okay, so if you do that, okay, you will uh, you will uh, see that uh, I checked it. So uh, obviously this is identity matrix. So it, it must be, uh, it is Hermitian and unitary. Okay. And this also comes out to be Hermitian and unitary. Okay. So these two are uh, basically Hermitian and unity. I think this must be a question of M MSQ part. Okay. Because two options correct. This is uh, your identity matrix to Hermitian and unitary both. Okay. And this is also Hermitian and unitary. You can check it. So now this is another question. See, there is a vector given and its line integration um, uh, along closed loop uh, is to be calculated. And here closed loop is a circle of radius two. Okay. So if you can calculate this, then answer comes out to be two pi. Okay. So you can check whether you have ticked two pi or not. Okay. So if you have uh, uh, written two pi, then your answer is correct. Okay. Now, uh, this is a question from Taylor series expansion. It says that uh, if we do expansion of this function, uh, e to the power x sine x about x equal to zero, obviously, because they are asking to uh, find a coefficient of x to the power five. So if you do expansion about x equal to zero, then what is the coefficient of uh, basically x to the power five? So this is a very easy question. Okay, you can what you can do is, uh, I'll, I'm just giving a little explanation of this one. Okay, you write expansion of uh, exponential. So you write like this, one plus x plus x cube by factorial three. Okay, uh, sorry, here, uh, one plus x plus x square by factorial two plus x cube by factorial three and so on. Okay, x to the power four by factorial four and so on. Okay, and right expansion of sine x. So this is x minus 
x cube by factorial 3 and plus x to the power 5 by factorial 5. Okay. So now you want to calculate coefficient of x to the power 5. So see, if x to the power 5 multiplies with 1, you will get x to the power 5. So coefficient will be 1 by 120. Okay. And uh, when, see, this x cube multiplies with this x square, you will again get one uh, uh, x to the power 5. So here, from here, you will get 2 and from here, 6. So there will be 1 by 20. Oh, sorry, 1 by 12. Okay. So now if you calculate it, you will get 120 and here 1 minus and here you will get 10. So this is minus 9 by 120. Okay. So you will get basically minus 3 by 40. So that's the answer. Okay. So this was quite an uh, easy question. Now, this is a uh, divergence which to be calculated. You can just uh, apply the formula in a spherical polar coordinate. In just one line, you will get the answer. 1 by r to 4. Okay. Minus 1 by r power 4. Now, uh, it says, uh, the, uh, see, there is a plane uh, whose intercept on these ABC axis are 2A, 3B, and 4C. So what is the Miller indices? So answer will be 6, 4, 3. Okay. You can calculate by applying the method. Okay. <clears throat> Now, uh, it says number of uh, basis atoms in primitive uh, cell of SCP, answer is two, okay? Remember, uh, for uh, SCP and for diamond, uh, uh, actually, uh, diamond cubic structure, we get a um, uh, number of uh, uh, basis atoms per unit in a primitive cell uh, two, okay? Now, it uh, this is, uh, a question for mechanics. It says that a ball has been dropped. It bounces, bounces, and bounces again and again. So finally, uh, uh, after what time it will come to rest? Okay. So if you do calculation, okay, you will get this answer. Okay. So I have done uh, this calculation. Uh, I'm not uh, uh, taking too much time in explaining all these things. I'm just giving you the answer. Okay. So this will be the final answer. And if values are given, you you can just put the values and you can get the uh, numerical numerical answer from here. Now this is a, a question. It's uh, it says that if E is uh, uh, electrostatic field, ये एक electrostatic field है तो A और B का value कितना होना चाहिए? तो electrostatic field है तो इसका curl हम निकाल सकते हैं ऐसे curl of elect electrostatic field should be zero. तो ये condition हम लगा करके जब solve करेंगे तो B equal to zero आएगा. A का कोई भी value आ सकता है. It can be one, two, three, four, five. It can take any values because if you take curl, uh, you will not get any value of A. So it means तो के ऐसे भी देखिए आप b को यहाँ पे zero put करेंगे ना तो s cap के साथ s multiplied है तो ऐसे cases में यहाँ पे constant कुछ भी आप multiply करेंगे any constant you will get this this vector will remain conservative okay because b is becoming zero so now this vector so you can put any constant here okay so a can take any values so simplest case में हम लोग a equal to one ले सकते हैं अगर option में one लिखा हुआ था तो ठीक है तो अगर option में one लिखा हुआ है तो one हम take कर सकते हैं ठीक है लेकिन two three four five भी लिखा हुआ है तो � now this is another question. It says uh, for an electromagnetic wave, electric field is given to be this much. Okay, so यहाँ पे एक वैल्यू निकालना है. Okay, so this is also very uh, simple question. Okay, you can just uh, calculate propagation constant from here and k dot e. We know that uh, electromagnetic waves are transverse in nature, so k dot e equal to zero कर देंगे. So from here you will get the value of a and answer will be 450. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, these many questions I have received. Okay, uh, you can. Uh, uh, basically, say, uh, if you if you have some more questions, you can send to us. Okay, our our num WhatsApp number is. So, आप इस नंबर पे आप WhatsApp कर सकते हैं क्वेश्चंस हम अगर और भी क्वेश्चंस रिसीव होता है ठीक है तो हम एक और वीडियो बना देंगे आंसर्स का ठीक है तो आप लोग सभी लोग इस पे क्वेश्चंस भेजिए और I'll make another video of this type, okay, in which I will be basically telling the answer. Uh, solutions to baad mein aap provide kar diya jayega theek hai so thank you